Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Auto. So here we have a Tesla Model S for sale. It's a new shape front end. It's a 90D, it's done about 35,000 miles and it's in this really nice multi-coat red metallic. Personally, my favorite color on these, not too many around and it looks really good when the sun is shining on it. This one does have uh, a few uh, extras in it and it comes with a few accessories as well, which I'll go through in this video. So this has got the uh, Gen 2 seats that have got the larger bolsters on the side, um, black leather interior with the light coloured roof lining. Uh, as you can see this has also got the panoramic roof and it's the sunroof version where that completely opens. Um, and the advantage of that is you can fit roof rails on this model and indeed this does come with a set of roof rails which I will show you a bit later on. I've just jumped inside obviously we've got the uh, piano black dash, uh, the centre console here, we've got uh, dividers down here that you can um, move at different positions inside that pocket and here we've got um, the other storage pocket with uh, an iPhone uh, holder there, charger, and um, let's just show you the mileage. So there's the mileage, 35,371 miles, and it's a, a 90D um, premium connectivity, highway autopilot, it's got all the latest software on. This has also got the uh, smart air suspension as well. And then in the boot here, uh, really clean and tidy, but I'll go into more about the condition a bit later. Storage compartment under there. And uh, this has also got the powered uh, tailgate as well. And then at the front here, we've got our frunk. Uh, we've got uh, Type 2 to Type 2 charging cable. By the looks of that, that is a three-phase... Um, can't quite see on the writing um, but anyway it looks like a three-phase cable of course and then here we have our portable charger a granny cable and then the adapter there for a um, Chadamo uh, connection on it and then the uh, safety triangle down there this car is currently fitted with a set of winter tires but it also comes with a set of summer tires as well so I've got the full details on the tyres on the website, including all the tread depths. I've walked back in the workshop here. So here is our set of four summer tyres that, that comes with the car. They've got very good tread depths. So um, when the weather warms up a bit, generally you use winter tyres when it's below seven degrees. So once the average temperature gets up above seven degrees, then you would switch back to these. And you can go to any tyre shop and uh, they will swap the tyres over for about uh, 60 to 80 pounds or so. And then here we have the roof rails. These are the Wispar roof rails. They did come from Tesla. I've used Wispar on another car of mine in the past and they're fantastic roof bars, nice and quiet because they're very aerodynamic. So that is included as well. And then here we have a Tesla wall charger and that is included with the vehicle as well so you would need to get an electrician round to fit it but uh, that's going to be uh, relatively cheap so yeah you've got everything you're going to want really with this car this actually isn't a stock car it belongs to someone locally and they're emigrating so they've left it uh, with us here at go green autos for us to sell on their behalf uh, they've owned it i think for about a year and bought it from tesla and this comes with a tesla extended warranty and the full details of that are on the website. So the purpose of this video primarily is to show the condition and if you see my videos before you know I point out every little minor stone chip scratch or mark I can find. I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're buying and then that gives people then the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming here to view it first. Um, so very little to point out on this one it really is in nice condition but i'm going to be super picky and point out a couple of little stone chips and a couple of tiny scratches but it's all very small and minor and most people really wouldn't worry about that um you know it is a 2016 vehicle after all um but anyway let's have a walk so around let's just start here um 
So the alloys are in really nice condition, uh, quite exceptional really for a Model S. Um, if I'm going to be super picky, there's a few little marks on that edge, but that was probably done when the tyres are being changed, to be honest. Um, I would just say, everything I'm going to point out, I've taken pictures of on the photo gallery on the website. So you can have a look at the pictures in detail, go full screen, and you can also zoom up and have a really good look at them. Uh, but it's all quite minor, that I'm going to point out. Looking down this side, there's no dents at all. Uh, just a few light scratches which I'm going to show you here. So there's a couple of very light scratches in the uh, bodywork along the side but you always get that on Model S's because they're so wide and it's just where hedgerows and things brush along the side. The more, well the two things that are noticeable on here on this car is there is a scratch here about two and a half inches long and a couple of um, minor ones along that um, section there again parking scratch but uh, if that was polished it might look a little bit better uh, but you know pretty minor that's the worst one and most uh, the only visible one really and then there is a chip in the paint here on the plastic bumper um, but yeah small enough to be uh, filled in if with a touch-up pen so if you get a touch-up stick that could be uh, sorted well enough and it's down low anyway this alloy is really nice as well a uh, few little marks along the edge uh, but that's not from scuffing again that's just from changing tires so being super picky there and looking along the back there's no significant scratches on the bumper um, so yeah it looks really nice uh, there is a little bit of condensation in that uh, lamp assembly there not too bad but that's a common issue on Teslas they all tend to do that at some point but all completely clear on that one and then going round the side um, I don't think there's anything to show you on this side to be honest um, that alloy all looks really nice um, minor little scratch there but very minor um, we've got the sun shining on this side now so anything is going to um, be visible if there's anything here but no no scratches in the mirror this side's actually really nice um, that alloy is all scuff free so round the front there's going to be a few stone chips for a vehicle that's done some miles as you would always expect but actually very little and on red paint they do tend to show up more because the undercoat's white but really few on this so we've got one there we've got three there we've got one two there in the middle of the bonnet some very minor ones here one two three four five six or so really minor there's a few very small ones on the bonnet there is that one no there's one there and then down here the most significant one is just there but they're all very small and of course this is plastic anyway there's a few along the front there but you know if you want a car that doesn't have uh, stone chips in you've got to buy new of course um, but yeah I might be being super picky here but yeah it's in pretty exceptional condition really for a car of this age and this mileage. I have noticed there is a little stone chip there in the windscreen but it's right down low completely out of your area of vision and it is smooth so I think that has been filled at some point in the past. So yeah nothing to worry about and it wouldn't be an MOT failure either. And then um, yeah just open the boots I can have a look along the top of the bumper but yeah that all looks really nice. Um, no scratching and as I've seen you in the back it is all absolutely spotless and really nice condition there in the boot and then uh, yeah there's your powered tailgate of course and then looking at the back seats there there's nothing to show you all pristine carpets are all nice and clean and uh, don't have any wear in them and then looking at the front if I just move my bit of paper there carpet mats all really nice some minor scratching on the scuff plate there but yeah you're always going to get that the leather seat there has no significant wear on at all it looks really nice um, all exactly what you would want to see scratching on the door card actually there's nothing to point out at all on the inside it's all really nice condition so we do have two keys with this and then i'll just show you the paperwork um, so here we've got the quick start guide we have got a, a tesla cloth that's obviously for cleaning the screen um, we've got a usb cable there 
and then we've got the v5 so it's only had one previous keeper and the registration date is the 20th of september 2016 and the model is uh, model s 90d and then the mot is until the 10th of the 11th 2021 it was done at 32,249 miles we've then got a bit of paperwork here so we've got the um, transport for london exemption um, we have got a receipt there for tires 672 pounds oh that's the winter tires which are fitted now so they were bought uh winter 2018 but of course they were swapped so haven't done too many miles we've got um mot oh fitting tires 60 quid there um we have got an invoice for from tesla replace front passenger airbag that was a recall um so yeah we've then got uh an invoice for the tesla wall connector we've then got an invoice for the car when it was purchased from tesla um so yeah looking at what's on this car so model s 90d all-wheel drive red coat multi-coat paint sunroof 19 inch silver strip stream strip slip stream wheels if i can say that black next generation seats piano black decor light headliner power and lighting package autopilot with convenience features premium upgrade package smart air suspension and uh winter tires actually so it had winter tires when he bought it but um obviously fitted some others since um yeah and as i said it's got the uh, tesla extended warranty as well so um yeah as i said we got the um sunroof uh what else can i show you um we've got autopilot there auto steer and summon beta um suspension we've got the um adjustable air suspension that also mem um, remembers where you are and it will do it automatically if you've changed the height um, driving chill standard um, yeah we've got all our driving settings vehicle settings display trips navigation safety and security service and software and then um down here we've got your toy box where you've got your fart mode and all the other stuff um, entertainment web charging as we can see there it's had a limit set so it hasn't been charging to the um, full amount to preserve the battery um, we've then got a uh, camera calendar what else can I show you our oh, heated seats heated seats on the front passenger and driver three stage but this doesn't have heated seats in the back or a heated steering wheel uh, just also uh, to add that the led daytime running lights are all working as they should be so i think i've covered everything if there's anything else you want to know then just send me an email and also have a look at the photo gallery on the website because there's all the pictures there of everything you might want to see so um just to recap this is a 90d 2016 and it also has the um, glass sunroof with a tesla wall charger that you can get fitted at your home included uh, complete with a set of summer tires and winter tires and the roof rails as well so this car is ready to go so if you're interested give me a call or email and it's here at lyford if you want to come and view it in test drive but obviously you'll have to wait until uh, lockdown finishes before you can do that but if you just want to go ahead and buy it then um, I can get these delivered anywhere in the country.